हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट द एयर स्प्रिंग ए इज यूज्ड टू प्रिवेंट द सपोर्ट बी एंड प्रिवेंट डैमेज टू द कन्वेयर बेल्ट टेंशनिंग वेट सी इन द इवेंट ऑफ अ बेल्ट फेलोअर डी द फोर्स डिवेलप बाय द एयर स्प्रिंग एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ इट्स डिफ्लेक्शन इज गिवन बाय दिस ग्राफ If the block has a mass of 20 kg and is suspended d equals to 0.4 meters, let me write that this is 0.4 meters above the top of the spring. Determine the maximum deformation of the spring in the event the conveyor belt fails. Neglect the mass of the pulley and belt. So let's say that the maximum deformation is represented by x max. So we have to find that x max. So if this conveyor belt fails then this pulley plus this mass c will fall down downwards and it will strike this air spring so just before hitting let's say that uh, we are considering the free body diagram of this block c so at that particular instant the weight of that block c is going to act vertically downward this is the weight and its mass is 20 so the weight is 20 times 9.81 and this uh, air spring is going to apply the force in the upward direction so this is the the force of the spring so the force of the spring is given as a function of distance traveled in the downward direction so as we know that the spring force is equal to k times s Uh, we can say that it is equal to k times x right so this k is the slope of this graph right so we can find the slope so we can find the slope by k equals to the change in y divided by the change in x so this will give us the slope of this graph so the change in y is 1500 minus 0 so that is 1500 divided by 0.2 minus 0 so that is change in x so this is the k value so 1500 divided by 0.2 0.2 this is 7500 7500 and if you want to write that spring force in terms of s so that will be 7500 s so this is the spring force which is a function of that uh deflection right so this is 7500 s now in the initial state if i bring this up so at, let's say this is that first state of this uh mass c or weight c so at that particular instant the velocity v1 is 0 and when when the conveyor belt fails and it travels downward and when, when it hits this air spring so it will deform this spring with some distance so it will go downwards so let's say that the deformation in in the spring is let's say that x max so then that will be the state 2 of this block c so then it will come to rest again so at state 2 the velocity v2 is also equal to 0 So now we can write that work energy principle so according to work energy principle the kinetic energy at state 1 plus the uh, summation of work done from 1 to 2 due to the external forces is equal to the kinetic energy at point 2 so since the kinetic in the velocity at point 1 is 0 so the kinetic energy at point 1 is 0 and the kinetic since the velocity at 2 is 0 so the kinetic energy at point 2 will be equal to 0 since this spring will bring its velocity to zero to prevent this uh, support at p so then we are left with this so then as we can see that if we consider the free body diagram so there are only these two external forces so they are producing some work so the work done by the spring force is equal to as we know that it is always equal to half k s2 square minus s1 square Minus half k s one square. So now we know k k is seventy five hundred. This is this this unit will be newton per meter since the unit of this is force. This is force and this is in meters. So newton meter. 
So now what is S1? So S1 is the initial deformation in the spring. So if this is here, so the initial deformation in the spring is zero. And then the when it strikes the air spring and it uh, travels some distance, so it deforms the spring. So we can say that S1 is zero and S2 is equal to x max that we want to find. So then we can write that the work done due to spring force will be half and that k is 7500 and s2 is x max. So I will write that this is x max square and this will become zero since the initial deformation in the spring is zero. Similarly, the work done due to the weight of that block C, so that will be 20 times 9.81 and from state one to state two, the block travels a distance of 0.4 plus x max. Right, so we will multiply it with 0.4 plus x max, and as we know that the uh, the block is traveling downward, so the direction of the displacement traveled and the direction of the work they are same. So this is the positive work, and the spring force is acting in the opposite direction of the distance traveled. So this means that this is the negative work. So now we can add up both of these. So I can write that uh, minus half 7500x max square and plus this uh, work done due to weight. So this is 20 into 9.81 into 0 0.4 plus x max and this will be equal to 0. So 7500 divided by 2. This is 3750, so I can write that minus 3750 x max square plus at 20 into 9.81. Let me find 20 into 9.81. So this is 196.2. Let me write that this is 196.2. So 196.2 x max and 196.2 multiply by 0.4. So answer multiply by 0.4. So this gives me 78.48. So plus 78.48 and this is equal to 0. So now if you look into this equation, so this is a quadratic equation in terms of x max. So we will have two solution of this equation. So let me find those solutions. So this is a quadratic equation. So the coefficient a is minus 3750, then 196.2 and 78.48. So x, x max, one value of x max is equal to 0.173. And then the second value is negative value. So negative, so since our positive direction is in the downward direction, so x max cannot be negative. So that x max is 0.173. So the maximum deformation that will happen in this air spring will be equal to 0.173. And the maximum deformation uh, which the spring can sustain is 0.2 meters from this graph we know. So this is less than 0.2. So we can say that our maximum deformation value is accurate according to the given information. So this is the solution of this particular problem. Kindly subscribe my channel for such more problem solutions.